Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Uh, it's a lovely day. I, I know I said this morning that it looked like some storms and rain were coming through, and they did, but they, they completely missed us. Um, just, just went around us, uh, did that same thing yesterday. Uh, today we've got a, a little bit of rain sprinkling is really mostly what it was, uh, but hey, it's, it's, it's cooled off at least. It's not as hot as it's been, so that's a pleasant thing to have. Um, I made a video, I think, just yesterday or the day before about the economic collapse that's coming at us. And I said in that video that I would do my best to keep you updated as I came across stuff. And lo and behold, today again, uh, some really big news uh, in that arena. So I want to talk to you about that. Uh, and since we're on the subject of economic collapse, you should probably have an adequate food supply and I of course push you to grow your own and produce your own but having emergency food stored away is also a good idea that's good for those immediate things that kind of when it's chaotic and it's crazy right after something bad really happens uh, you've got something that you don't have to really worry about and there'll be a link down in the description and in the comment section for a company I've started using and it's all non-gmo um, that no preservatives it's just plain old food no no genetically modified stuff in it no bioengineered stuff um, it, it's more expensive than the the really really cheap stuff you buy at Walmart but it's not as expensive as a lot of them so uh, anyways there'll be a link in the description if you want to check that out uh, and pick you some up today so uh, in the news today the fourth largest bank in America Citigroup uh, Citibank is basically telling um, is telling their investors, it's telling their people that uh, they believe that it is now inevitable for the U.S. economy to have a hard landing, which is kind of like saying that the U.S. economy is going to crash, that that the dollar, the economy, that everything is on a predestined course to collapse. Um, the amount of debt that we're incurring, the amount of spending that's going on uh, all of this is is pointing into one direction and we've been hearing this kind of talk for a while it was just a couple of weeks ago that blackrock sent out a message basically to all of their investors saying that we advise you that if you have any of your your holdings in just u.s dollars just cash to get rid of it to dump u.s dollars uh, to put it into something else. The International Monetary Fund has said that the U.S. dollar is unsustainable. Um, the 10 Asian countries that are not adversarial to us at all, these are not ones that we are, we are sanctioning or anything like that, uh, they have said that they are no longer using the U.S. dollar for any kind of trade. More and more countries are doing that. And as much as the U.S. media and the current U.S. government, the Biden administration, tries to constantly spin it that everything's okay, that, that it's getting better, that food prices have gone down, that inflation has gone down, that all, all of this kind of garbage that's absolute lies. The truth is, is that things are getting pretty bad. I was contacted by a gentleman that sits on the board of a bank and it's not necessarily that he knows something that you don't know. He's, he's looking at the same stuff that you and I look at. But he told me that very quietly, the bank board, the executive part of the bank that he sits on, uh, they are actively talking about this. What are they going to do? What, what is there a way to keep their doors open when this happens? And he said that most of them believe that this will happen uh, probably before the end of the year that they say that we have probably to the end of the year before things start really falling apart and going bad. That doesn't necessarily mean that we would hit rock bottom by the end of the year. Um, but things could definitely start going sour. And I, I know it's one of those things that we just can't imagine happening. It's easy to picture chaos due to the amount of illegals pouring across this border because we see that, that that's happening that's that you know you can watch videos 
You can see the crime reports. Some of you see it firsthand. So it, it's not that difficult to see that. Uh, the pandemic, that was right in front of our faces, right? It's kind of hard to miss it. This is something that, you know, we could sit there and say, well, maybe maybe it's just a, maybe it'll pick back up. Maybe it's just because of this. Well, it, may, maybe it's not for decades off. May, maybe decades down the road this will happen. And maybe that's true. I'm not saying that that's completely incorrect because, again, I don't know and you don't know for certain when it'll happen. But I don't think it's a matter of if it'll happen anymore. I don't think it's been that way for a long time, actually. I think it's a matter of when, and I think the when is becoming more and more close. 12 months ago, 24 months ago, three years ago, you didn't hear prominent people in prominent positions talking about the U.S. economy collapsing. I mean, occasionally you would hear some interview about some guy that is a CEO somewhere and he was, you know, not too sure. Things don't look good. But we are hearing voices in a very prominent leadership position. I mean, the fourth largest bank in the world, BlackRock, owns everything in the world. Uh, you know, saying that, hey, get out of the dollar. U.S. economy is collapsing. It's getting to the point that it's hard to discount all of this. We need to be waking up, folks. I know a lot of people ask, how, how do we fix this? How, how, do we, or how do we prepare against this? You know, what are we going to do when we only have central bank digital currencies and the U.S. dollar is no more? What do we do when everything collapses? Well, I can tell you this, and I'm pretty confident in this. There is no fix for everything. There is no solution that just, okay, we'll do this and then everything will be great. That's not going to happen. No matter how well prepared you are, no matter what solutions you've come up with, nothing is going to be a fix-all thing. Being self-sufficient is going to mean that you're not dependent upon other people or other systems to keep yourself alive. Having a community of people around you that are also self-sufficient means that there's more of you to do that. Getting your 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 wealth out of unstable assets and moving it into things like land and beans and bullets and gold and silver and things like that can also help. But nothing is going to be completely even even digital currency that you know Bitcoin things like that might be might be a, a workaround for some things, but it's not going to fix everything. In the end, we will feel the, feel this, and it's going to hurt. And it's going to hurt bad. And being that the whole world has been propped up because of the U.S. economy and the U.S. currency, when the U.S. collapses, there's going to be a global economic collapse. And it's gonna, it, there's going to be ripples, there's going to be tidal waves, tsunami waves all around the world. And it's going to be bad. I believe this is planned. I believe that this is all part of the plan. Uh, Klaus Schwab announced yesterday that he's stepping down as the chairman of the World Economic Forum. Now that doesn't mean that he's not going to have anything to do with it anymore, but it's his turn to step out and someone else to step in. Don't think that that's a win for us. You think they're going to put some anti-globalist conservative guy in there? No, it'll probably be even worse. It'll probably be even worse. Uh, other news today. This all kind of fits together, I believe. It uh, came out in the news that Joe Biden is not going to be on the ballot in Ohio. And the reason is, is because Ohio has a law that they have to tell them so many days before the election who, what, you know, the, the party, the party has to tell Ohio what person that they're going to have on the ballot. And the Democratic Party does not want to tell them that it's going to be Joe Biden because they're still uncertain, apparently, is what the rumor is. So does that mean at the last minute, like many of us have said, they're going to do a switcheroo and someone even worse than him is going to be on the ballot? There's a lot of stuff going on, folks. Um, another H5N1 human case in Michigan, one yesterday in Australia. That's spreading around too. Just in time for the election, I'm sure. There's some dark days ahead of us, and I'm not saying that to get you down and depressed saying that to motivate you, to push you, to compel you, to get serious about what you're doing. It's hard. 
Trust me, I've been doing it for years. There's nothing easy about being self-sufficient. There's nothing easy about community building. There's nothing easy about getting your body and your mind and your soul in shape for the trials and the hardships that are to come. Nothing easy about it. But it's the only way that we're going to make it through this. And you need to be getting real serious about it because while it could be years away, the way things are panning out, I don't think it's going to be. It's time to get your houses in order, folks. To be preparing yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.